Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. And now we will make this effect. But first, I finally found the way to post tutorials on this channel more often. From time to time people ask me, what is the easiest way to create movie effects? Which software should be used? How much time it takes to learn and create a visual effect? These are most important questions which you could ask. And I didn't really know what to answer, until recently. Now I've came up with an idea to create visual effects which can be used even if you've never tried to edit any video ever. So I've started my VFX bundle. VFX bundle can offer you all new projects with already made effects of each new tutorial from this channel. Also, you'll get pre-made effects which you can use in any editing software such as Premiere Pro, Final Cut, After Effects and even Sunny Vegas. You just open any of these editing softwares and drag pre-made effects into your own video. As you know, I'm trying to answer every comment here on YouTube, so I always know what you want me to improve. In this way, I'm able to make all needed future updates. Usually these sorts of bundles cost around $100, and I know that most of people don't want to spend this much money just to have fun or learn visual effects. I've decided to set a price as low as I could, so it costs only $14. And best part of this, that you make purchase just one time, and all future updates which will come with each new tutorial on this channel will be completely free. Just redownload the files to get all new updates. In future, when a VFX bundle will have much more effects in it, price will also get higher, to 15, 16, 17 dollars and so on. This is why it's better to purchase now when price is still 14 dollars, and you'll get all future updates for free. Purchase VFX bundle now, it's the best way to support upcoming tutorials, and more importantly, your purchase will help me spend my time only on this channel to create more effects for your future use. By the way, you can still watch my tutorials on this channel for free, as always with free raw video files to practice on. Only difference is that VFX bundle will give you an exclusive access to future project files with already made effects, as also VFX videos to use in any other applications as Premiere Pro, Final Cut, Sunny Vegas and so on. It's just one time purchase for $14 and all future updates with more effects videos will be completely free. Your purchase will really help a lot. Link to VFX bundle is in description. Let's get started. I'm using Adobe After Effects CC 2015. For this tutorial we are going to use this footage here, which you can download from description to practice on. Left mouse click on this footage and drag onto this icon here to create new composition. By the way, let's check if you have effect, trap code, particular. If you don't have this external plugin, you need to download from description below. If you want to shoot your own video, you need to have footage like this. As you can see at the beginning we have just clean wall and then you are trying to simulate like you're walking against some powerful wind. Just make sure that lighting in your scene is not changing and that you have this clean background. So now let's duplicate this layer, go to edit, duplicate or Control D on keyboard. And here at the beginning where we have just clean plate, right mouse click on this top layer and go to time freeze frame. And also let's duplicate this button layer, Control D on keyboard and set it above. Now press Shift on keyboard and select this other one and go to layer, precompose. And let's call it keying. Ok, now let's open this composition. So here we have this background layer which we froze and here we have footage where I walk through it. Select this footage above and go to effects and presets and let's find effect difference math. Here key in difference math and drag on this layer here. So now we are trying to key out just myself from this footage. So how this effect works? It looks to these two footages and trying to analyze what is different between these two footages. 
As you know, here we have just clean background and here myself where I walk through it. So basically I'm the only difference between these two footages. Let's switch off this layer here. And here in difference layer, let's set our background. We can also call it BG for background. And now as you can see, we cut out ourselves. We can play with these settings to get better result. Let's set to about 10 and blur before difference, let's set it to about, I guess let's set it to 3. Let's also find matte choker, matte, matte choker. Let's drag it below here. And here also we can play with these settings. I set mine softness to 6.8. Our goal here is just to have rough outline of ourselves. It doesn't have to be perfect, so this result is quite good. So your footage should look something like this. Let's go back to our raw video composition. And now let's press P on keyboard to see our position. And let's move it like this. I'll set mine to 940 and just a bit behind of myself. Now let's apply effect called Wrath and Edges. So idea here is to make distorted edges like something pulls me back. Let's set edge type to spiky. Increase border amount to about 40. As you can see we already have some distorted edges. Edge sharpness let's set it to 10. We want to have them a lot more visible. Scale let's set it to about 62. As you can see now we have a great amount of details. Let's also hold Alt key on keyboard. And while holding Alt, click on this evolution stopwatch. Now we can write expressions. Let's type wiggle, open bracket, 3, comma, 1500, close bracket, and click anywhere. With this expression we add in some movement to our edges. Let's also select our layer. Let's add fast blur or Gaussian blur. Let's apply it here and let's set it to about 25. Let's also blur dimension set it to horizontal and maybe let's add some curve effect. Just type here curve and drag it here. Just make this S shape here to make it look more interesting. Let's preview this. We can also cut to this moment. So we would preview just from this moment. As you can see now we have some distortion. And now let's add some particles. Let's duplicate this layer, select it and press Ctrl D on keyboard. Select this layer and go to Effect, Remove All. And then go to Layer, Precompose. Let's call it Main Particles and click here to move all attributes into new composition and click OK. Let's open this new composition. Right mouse click on this layer and go to Transform fit to comp. And now we are going to use trap code particular to create some particles which flies from my back. To create this uh, flying particle simulation I want to use gravity as the force which pulls particles from my body. So to do this I need to rotate my layer to 90 degrees like this. Press R on keyboard to see rotation and set it to minus 90. And then right mouse click on this area here and go to composition settings. Here at width let's set the value of height and at height we will set this value of width. So let's set it here 1080 and here 1920. Let's create new solid, go to layer, new, solid. Click on this make comp size and let's call it particles and click OK. Now select this layer and go to effect, trap code, particular. At particles per second, let's set it 100,000. Emitter type, let's set it to layer. And our goal is to create particles from this cutout of myself. So let's select this key in layer. Click on toggle switch to see this 3D icon. And now click here to make this layer in 3D. Now we can select this particle layer and go to a layer emitter. And now select this keying. As you can see now particles are created from myself. Let's change layer sampling to particles birth time. It allows our particles to stay in place while I'm moving forward. Velocity let's set it to about 20. As you can see now there are more stuck together. Now let's go to particle 
life of particles let's set it to 2 seconds it should be enough sphere feather let's set it to 0 and size let's set it to 1 our goal is to have some tiny particles and size random let's set it to 100 and size over life let's set it to this preset here or if you don't have this preset just draw a similar line like this let's also add curve effect and here at alpha channel let's make them more visible we can also click here to see our transparency and finally let's go to physics of our particles gravity let's set it to 1200 and now let's add motion blur by clicking here and let's enable right here so now as you can see gravity pulls them down we can also change how fast they move by changing this physics time factor for example let's set it to 2 and now as you can see gravity pulls them really hard i'd like to animate this value to give some more interesting look when i'm pulling through so for example here at middle of my step let's click on this stopwatch here press u on keyboard to see our keyframe and about here let's set this value to 0.5 and about here let's set it to 2 again let's pull them together like this and as you can see with this simple animation we are making it look like some extra particles are ripping off from my body you can animate in same way at every step so now let's close it here and let's switch off our keying layer by clicking on this eyeball here and let's go back to our raw video composition as you can see our particles now flying down let's fix this just press r on keyboard to see our rotation and let's rotate it to 90 degrees let's set it to 90 and now let's press p on keyboard set it to 950 just to pull them a little back and now let's set our particles below our keen layer like this we can even pull them a little back like this and now let's preview okay i'm happy with this result and here at this part let's add a part of myself left behind so for now we can shut this layer off select this keying layer and press ctrl d on keyboard to duplicate let's find the moment of myself which i want to freeze this looks pretty good i'll set my time cursor here right mouse click on this layer go to time freeze frame so we already froze our layer now press p on keyboard to see our position let's set a keyframe move it over here and then click here and just drag it a bit like this also let's cut this layer to this moment select this second keyframe go to graph editor here and drag by this little handle to the left like this it will make our animation smoother let's click here again and let's delete this curves layer select it and press delete and now go to effect keying extract and let's set white point to about 30 so our goal is to cut ourselves so it would just look like part of me left behind let's also drag it above and let's set it to maybe 31 let's create a keyframe press u on keyboard to see our keyframes and about here at the end let's make it almost disappear 16 looks good and set this keyframe to the end of our footage and at last we need just to create some particles from this bit here and to create some shadow of this let's close it here select it go to layer recompose call it part of me and click ok now we can easily create our shadow just select this composition press ctrl d on keyboard and then press s on keyboard to see our scale click on this lock here and let's adjust our scale move it on the ground let's make it even smaller 12 looks good and let's apply fast blur drag it on this layer here let's set it to 150 here at mode let's set it to multiply and press t on keyboard to adjust our opacity i'll set it to 70 so now as you can see we have our shadow and finally let's create some particles which fly in from this 
let's rename it this layer here. Press return on keyboard to rename it, type shadow. Now duplicate this part of me layer, select it and press Ctrl D on keyboard. Then go to layer, precompose. Let's name it part of me particles and click OK. Now let's open this layer. As you remember, we are using gravity, so we need to rotate this layer so our particles fall down. Press R on keyboard and set it to minus 90. Then right mouse click here, go to composition settings and switch these values. 1080, 19, 20. OK. Then click on this toggle switch here. Set to 3D to emit particles from this. Close it here and go to main particles. Copy this particles layer. Go to edit, copy, and now go back to part of me particles composition and go to edit, paste, then go to layer emitter and set layer to this layer right here. And now we have our particles. Let's also enable our motion blur and disable our part of me layer. Go to raw video. As you can see now we need to rotate our particles. Press R on keyboard. And rotate it to 90 degrees. Let's also enable this layer here and let's also move it below this skin layer. I think it looks pretty cool when it eventually disappears. If you want to create some camera shake just go to project and here raw video select it and create new composition. Press S on keyboard to scale it then press R on keyboard Hold Alt key on keyboard and click on this stopwatch. Let's type wiggle, open bracket, 4, comma, 1, close bracket. First value will set how frequent wiggle is and second value let's set it to about 10 maybe. And now we have more violent wiggle. You can also go to layer, new, solid. Click OK and then apply some jazz effect. Drag it here on this layer. Set it to 84 and height to 0. So now we have this 16 by 9 look. We can also move it over. So this is pretty much our effect. This project file will be also in my VFX bundle. As also I am going to try to make this without using TrapCut Particular. As a bonus to those who bought my VFX bundle, you'll have exclusive access how to make this effect without using any external plugins. And it's the best way to support this channel so I could make more tutorials like this. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.